Yo. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, yeah. Um, one sec. Let me change. Got to turn you up a little bit. Okay. No problem. All right. Say something. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Okay. I think this should be good. Okay. Um. Cool. So, how's it going? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Nice. I'm chilling. I just woke up stupid late. Got back. Oh, okay. Got back late from a friend's house last night. So. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah, but excited to do this lesson now. So, uh, all right, yeah. let's just hop in. Maybe you could do give an intro for people. Just like sure. uh, tag where you're from, how long you've been playing, and uh, goals for the game. Okay, yeah. Um, so uh, my my tag is Lewis. Um, I've been playing for uh, since 2016, so I guess six years now, or a little over that. Um, and uh, my goals for the game, I guess, are I, I just want to kind of get good enough to where i can play melee at like a higher level um because i feel like the game is more fun kind of the higher level that it's being played at um mm, I agree. this is my second lesson that i've had so i've i've been a past student one time okay um, my bad <laughs> no, no 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 i wasn't saying that to you i was just just kind of informing the chat. okay i was um, thinking i was like oh. <laughs> yeah 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 no um and i'm just you know just to add um this time i'm gonna be i want to go over a uh, falco versus chic i'm a falco player um, cause I've been struggling a lot with local sheiks. I'm from Long Island. So I play a lot in, uh, yeah, like nightclub and Long Island locals. Mm -hmm. And I'm frequently losing to players like J flex, Dr. Lobster, and just Jason. So I really want to go over that matchup. Cause I think that that's where my main struggle in melee in general is right now. Okay. For sure. I am down to do that. Cool. Yep. And I sent you that link earlier. So that should timestamp to being the second, uh, uh, at least uh, the one I, I sent, I think it should go to... Yeah. Okay, cool. I think, I, I, I think like, I was just absentmindedly, like, clicked it back to zero. So, yeah. Oh. Okay. And uh, what do you feel, like, happens to you against Sheik, or in these games, or just, like, in general? Yeah, I think versus Sheik, I, I have really the least understanding of how to fight the character, fundamentally, because... um. Like, I understand versus Marth kind of had a corner Marth, something mm -hmm. like that. But versus Sheik, I don't feel that happens. Like, she'll get away from me a lot of the time. Um, and it feels like it's really up to her between, like, short hopping and defending her space and then sometimes just coming in and dash attacking me or grabbing me. So I never feel comfortable versus the character. Mm -hmm. This definitely is where I have my least game plan in general. Okay. Um, it really feels like I'm kind of doing random stuff in neutral. Like, I don't really know what I should be looking for and what I should be uh, punishing her for in, like, a game plan kind of way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, that's interesting. All right, uh, screen share working? Yep, yeah, I can see okay, it. Let's, let's go into this and take a look then. Okay, so one thing is unless you are using a laser to... It's kind of like Fox where... I don't think doing approaching laser onto Sheik is good. Okay. Um, I think it's like, it's okay in some situations, and you can get away with it. Uh, and there are certain positions where you might want to do it, but like overall, like especially compared to characters like Marth or, you know, other Falcos and stuff like that, like approaching laser onto Sheik is just not that good because she's just really used to throwing out stuff like forward tilt and jab and mm -hmm. stuff like that to beat the approaching laser. So I'm just not a huge fan of like approaching laser in general on Sheik, and I try to like avoid it as much as I can. Okay. <clears throat> so like, uh, let's see, it's like right here. I would have probably wanted like a late nair or something here. And uh, one of the strongest things on Sheik, and specifically something that she just struggles with massively as a character, is ambiguity between uh, right and left side. So this is a lot of times why you, you hear Sheik mains complaining about stuff like full hop down air with Falco. Uh, and it applies also for stuff like this, where you're doing this approach from a position where you are close enough to cross up and cl but also you could land in front of their shield like you could fast fall at the nair here if you wanted to okay and Sheik 
super, super struggles with these positions. Like, way, way more than somebody like Falco or Fox does. Uh, the only move she really has that'll hit on both sides is, like, Nair. And a lot of times, Nair is, like, it, you know, it takes a really long time when she does it. And then at low percent, a lot of times, you'll just CC it and punish her anyway. And then at higher percents, the Nair out of shield doesn't really work because a lot of times you'll just slide it off or tech it. Okay. And so, like, if you if you ignore that, it's like fair, forward tilt, down tilt, jab, like, grab. All of these things only hit in front of her. And so a lot of times as Sheik, when Falco does this ambiguity thing, you just get sort of stuff because you can't really decide which side you want to throw out your move on. So anytime you're in, like, a close-in scramble, uh, there's really two things I think about in a close-in scramble, and one of them is do your best to have, like, ambiguity on which side of Sheik you're going to be on. And the other one is more when you're under pressure, and we'll get to that, but it's mostly just, like, you just sort of pick a timing mix-up. Like, if Sheik is jabbing your shield, I, I really like to just, like, wait a set amount of time, just kind of make a read on it, and then I'll, like, aerial it, like, down air out of shield or something. And as the Sheik, it's very difficult to deal with something like that because a lot of times you want your opponent to more, like, feel the pressure of, like, your jabs or something, not just, like, I wait a random amount of time without thinking in counterattack. And Sheik sort of struggles with that in my experience. But we'll get to that if it comes up. But yeah, the ambiguity is really good, and not approaching laser ring, just doing, like, an aerial is really good. She struggles so much with, like, ambiguous left-right aerials. Okay. And, okay, so these lasers are fine. For the most... You, maybe you landed a little bit close, but in general, this type of laser is fine, where you're, like, using the approaching laser to up, to get closer. You mostly just don't want it to be that, like, you can approaching laser and just get, like, forward tilted. Like, as long as you, you're not going to get forward tilted, you can approaching laser to get closer. Just don't okay. do it, like, directly onto her. Kind of like Fox. Let's see, how did you get... Here. Happens. I also, like, in general, outside of, like, basically at... At, like, the majority of the time, Nair is kind of better against Sheik than down air. Uh, obviously, there's spots where, like, she's going to be, like, CCing and stuff, and in those spots you want a down air. But a lot of times, Nair, when you, if you space it, ambiguously at least, like, if you do, like, a Nair, a lot of times Falco will get this Nair type thing on Sheik where you just, like, laser and you dash dance and you get this Nair where you kind of hit her on the front like, let's say she, like, ASDI's down off of, like, <laughs> like, a forward tilt or something, you'll, like, hit her on the front and then, like, m keep moving past her. And so it puts her in this awkward spot where, like, you hit her and so she's facing to the left and now you're on her right. And it's, like, that whole left-right thing that kind of messes her up. Uh, whereas down air, like, yeah, it does work, but then a lot of times it'll fail against... Um, like, it's a little bit easier to dodge horizontally... I think a lot of the reason I like Nair is because also if she like wave dashes back to try to punish the down air, but she's like precise about it, a lot of times the Nair will also just kind of hit her because it goes a little bit further than the down air, and yeah. it combos really well out of the air at lower percents, and then at a lot of times even if she holds down on it, you'll get some weird like ambiguous cross up thing and be able to like hit her with it. So this sounds kind of like a, this is kind of a basic question, I guess. But the times that you'd be looking to use Nair just in general is, is probably when you think she'll be like shielding, like standing still. Because a lot of the times where I go for Nair, um, I will Nair and then Sheik will end up like getting under me or something. Like it feels like uh, she'll like dash through me or something when I try to like Nair at her. So I don't know if that's just me Nairing at like an improper time. Mm -hmm. um, but that's like why I'd end up down airing instead is because I feel like down air will like cover that space better and I'll end up like clipping her. She kind of like goes underneath you. Yeah. Um, yeah. I haven't really had an issue with that. Um, okay. 
maybe it's because I'm always sort of moving forward with the nair. Like I'm not gonna like wall the nair. I'm always yeah. I'm always trying to do like a drive by type type nair to chic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm is not there sure. like we'll a setup see if it then? Comes up. Hmm? Is there like a setup I guess that you go for where like you're uh you're nairing because I I think that this might relate to me like not understanding how to like lock her down in like an actual like pressure situation where I can mm -hmm. nair her like it feels like we just get to the close range and I just do it and then at the same time the chic player like Dr. Lobster and just Jason they both like run up grab a lot or something and then they'll just like like be running in at me at the same time when we're at this like close range mm -hmm. um so I don't I don't know if that yeah like, let's see if we to... can find like an example of that if nothing yeah. comes up we can just talk about it separately but I'd okay. rather if we can find like an example in the match so let me know if you see it all right Um, let's see. So, a lot of times with this, uh, I don't know, like, exactly, exactly how this works, but this is in my experience, is Sheiks try to do this thing where they do, like, a 50-50, uh, they try to abuse the fact that Falco's up tilt doesn't go as far over his head as Fox's. And mm -hmm. so they want this to trade, and most of the time it'll only trade if they get this, where, like, you're facing to the right and up-tilting, and then they drift to the right to get this down air. And so okay. they turn it into, like, a 50-50. And uh, so I kind of try to bait this, where rather than being directly underneath her when she's coming down from a situation like this, or maybe what I'll do is I'll do something like I'll... Instead of stopping here, I'll, like, run past her to, like, here a little bit. And then maybe I'll wave dash to here instead. And I just try to make it a sort of situation where, like, I could still... Like, if Sheik just tries to land here, maybe I could still get, like, a narrow, a full hop narrow back air here to hit yeah. her. But then, like... So I'm still kind of threatening that. But then if she wants to come down on me, there's just less... She doesn't get, like, this left-right drift... 50 50 i try to make it like oh no there's only if you want to try to hit me with a down air you can only hit me with me facing like the correct side because then the down then the up tilt will just go through the down air that makes sense but, yeah just be aware they go for this like all the time that 50 50 And yeah, this is exactly the nair that i'm talking about she can basically never punish this ever ever <laughs> Do you think that was, like, a reasonable nair to go for? Like, just kind of going for it once I'm at the space? Yeah, and, and I should have been Yeah, lazy. and it's because she sets herself up frame negative here. Where, like, you're... Like, basically, if you can get this exact nair, there's not a ton of reasons not to go for it. Okay. Uh, like, you, you really can only possibly get punished by Nair at a shield, and as long as you're holding down after the Nair, which you should be because you're going to fast fall it, uh, like, even if you barely fast fall it at the very end or whatever, or you decide to slow fall it, just hold down at the end because it'll let you slide off this Nair. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy that if this range gets set up, she just gets beat up. And I really like this thing that Bonfire says where she's just like, you can just always hit Sheik. Like, she's always available to be hit. And I think that that's obviously a little bit of an oversimplification. But there are spots where basically, like, if Sheik sort of gets close to you, it's sort of the same thing as she has against Fox. Where she struggles with, like, the, like, quote, like, clown nares. You know, where, like, yeah. if she gets kind of close to you and you do, do this, like nair that hits in the front but then lands behind like what is she really supposed to do she could like hard hard read it and like shield with her back facing towards you but that's not mm -hmm. gonna end well for sheik in general because then you're just oh i landed in behind your shield with my aerials and then i shine grabbed or whatever yeah so yeah those types of nairs are really good um and we'll get into some more stuff in a second let's see what else we can find here Okay, so this was actually super good. I think you actually played this really well. Uh, the what I what I usually say is like I look for lasers that are slightly outside of forward tilt range, 
like just mm-hmm. or or slightly 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 within them uh let's just basically this where you're like here and then i'll use the dash dance to bait out the forward tilt which you did um mm-hmm. and i so i think this is super like correct and good and then Sheik does the shield instead of a forward tilt which is fine because it perfectly opens her up for dash in and then doing like that cross up nair thing you know you don't want to cross up every single time because you can late nair in front of the shield it's yeah. more just like like it's basically like this is the hardest one to deal with and if she ultra super starts hard reading it then you can turn it into a 50 50 but i generally will just kind of spam the overshot one okay but yeah this is so, really good if she wave dashes in she'll get hit by an aerial if she wave dashes back maybe she can get you but it's not certain and then if she stays in place or jumps or whatever your nair is just gonna hit her so you go for so this oh let's go for it oh yeah sorry i no. i definitely like this is an i like this is one of the things that i understand how to do definitely but mm-hmm. what confuses me specifically i guess about it is how it fits in with everything else because um i think what happens to me a lot in this matchup is i get confused like where I should be lasering and where I should be, like, just attacking her or protecting my space. Mm -hmm. Um, And so, I guess just to clear that up a little bit, like, you think then that, like, I should should be emphasizing attacking her with Nair, like, far more than I should be emphasizing, like, lasering in place and, like, defending my space against, like, approaching options and stuff like Um, that? Okay, so Sheik is sort of... The way I see the matchup in my head is sort of, like, there's this good defensive game that you can play where Sheik struggles to kind of get in on lasers. Uh, and you can do, like, the double laser in place, retreating laser laser in place, uh, st- stuff like that. And, like, Sheik isn't that great at covering, you know, Falco's defensive resets, like laser go to platform, laser full hop to top plat. So, like, he has sort of a similar defensive laser game against Sheik that he has against Fox, but just kind of, like, better. Mm-hmm. Um, and Sheik's only real defense against that is to start making, like, I move forward reads against the lasers, like, I take laser, walk forward, you know, and, like, sort of threaten forward tilt and stuff like that, or I run in and I shield, and then I try to nair out a shield or whatever. Sheik eventually has to make these kind of aggressive options, uh, maybe not in every case, like, maybe she's ahead and she doesn't, and then you have to take a slower route to maybe get in her... But most of the time, it's like that. And then, so she's going to be trying to, like, press in on these lasers, because obviously, like, the more damage you get with lasers, the better Falco's combo game and stuff like that is. Uh, So, when she sort of starts moving in, I kind of switch over to this, like... I don't want to say Marth versus Falco, because that's, like, a little cheesier. Uh, But it's sort of this, like... If I throw out aggressive mix-ups in an ambiguous enough way, she can't really deal with them, and she kind of gets hit. And there, it's not a, it's it's very like Foxy if you've ever played Fox, where you're mm-hmm. you're kind of gambling with it a little bit, but you're doing it only in spacings where she has. It's so difficult for Sheik to like correctly punish. And, like, I've been playing a bunch of Sheik lately, and I've been getting destroyed by the same ambigu- like ambiguous stuff. And, like, I'm like, yeah, there's just... It's so frustrating that it feels like there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, mm-hmm. So I sort of play this safe zoning game, and then there's, like, a point at which I will decide to turn it into a more, like... It's like a regular aggression that I would normally do, like a sh- like a shield pressure type thing, except I just know that it's really hard for her to deal with that ambiguity. Yeah. And so there's not... I would say, like, I don't have, like, a perfect level game plan against Sheik where I'm like, this is the exact transition point. It's more like I kind of laser and I kind of move around and while it's convenient and I look for sort of... You know, like you're already looking for where you bait out like the forward tilt with like the laser dash dance and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. then when I when I notice that I'm at this close range where I could interact, uh, depending on the spacing and everything, you know, it's I'll do the classic Falco where like, so if Sheik gets close to you and maybe you're in the corner, maybe you feel a little bit more pressured to like play the the mix up. But if you're getting close to Sheik, like she's kind of in the corner and you get laser approaching laser, not onto her, but like kind of close to her, um, then like 
maybe you can just disengage, and then if she throws something stupid out, you can punish her. So you sort of have this, like, Sheik, here's my laser. I, it's, at a, it's at a range where I can set up this incredibly strong, unreactable, aggressive mix-up. And Sheik's like, oh no, I better do something. And then, like, you can just back off if you want and see what they did. Or, um, like, basically, you get to choose to be safe in neutral if you want a lot of times. And then when you decide when you decide you want it, you go, it's time, I can just feel it. It's time to do this, like, after this laser, I'm going to do this perfect spacing into, like, the nair thing or, or a down air there or something like that. And yeah, that when, when she's now caught in this awkward position where Falco's kind of on top of you and he's switching sides and stuff like that, Sheik just kind of gets hit a million times. And I've just felt this a bunch of times with Sheik, too. Okay. So that's like my general plan that I kind of follow, and it's not perfect, but it's pretty effective. <laughs> yeah, that's really good to know. Thanks. Okay, good in there. And yeah, look at this, because it's like, it's from the Falco end, it almost feels like, dude, Sheik is just getting hit by everything. And it's like, no, it just kind of feels like this all the time, because like, <laughs> she is not sure what you're doing here. After this laser, it's like, there's too much cross-up ambiguity that can happen, and then she just ends up jumping and getting hit because she's wanting to, like, avoid how hard it is to, like, deal with on the ground. Um, like, okay, so if you're super-duper pro here, you just, like, ledge dash turn around down tilt or ledge dash forward smash, but the back air is not that bad, but it still mm -hmm. does give her another chance in some capacity. Yeah, and then she gets back. That happens to me a lot, too, where I, like, don't close out an edge guard that mm -hmm. goes to 160, and then she gets back. I see. Yeah, so have you seen my, like, rising back air edge guard that I do from ledge? Uh, where you try to hit her as she's, like, coming out of the poof? Yeah, I try to hit her, like, pre-poof. Oh, yeah, yeah. I started doing that recently. Okay, yeah, yeah. so that's really good. Just practice that a little bit. But then also, like, when she gets on stage like this, I you you just have to get really good at, like, being, like, confirmed on stage and then going for going for something uh if she's at like like if she's at a percent where i feel like back airing her will allow her to kind of i don't know survival di well enough to get back a lot of times i do regular get up running shine depending on where she is i'll do regular get up walk or run shine and then i just she'll usually di out to like the left here and then I, i'll like run and i'll just full hop back air to push her way off to the other side uh and that's that makes sense. that's sort of what i'll do until she's at this percent and then i'll just do either like a because you could i'm pretty sure you could have regular get up down tilted it's not super clear because it's dreamland but uh regardless it's like there's nothing to really say about that other than just like react and make sure to hit her off again okay um let's see here Yeah, that was a really bad laser. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so right here, this is where, like, Sheik is kind of setting up the position on you with this, like, Nair. And so you kind of have this, like, annoying spot where, like, you can bait out the forward tilt here, but if you do by dashing back, maybe she dash attacks you, maybe she boost grabs you, you know. And so, like, a lot of times I don't really like this situation in terms of, like, making like a read uh like making like sorry making like a bait i wouldn't really bait here because she set it up if i <laughs> set it up and i'm in center and i'm all comfy then i can and i can move backwards then like yeah sure i'll bait but like yeah once she gets close enough out of this situation i'm either going to go for some sort of like full hop away uh whether it's to side plat or top plat to just dip uh she has trouble like jumping up and hitting people off of platforms a lot of times uh, but regardless, I would either jump and dip here, or I would go for, like, a nair something here, you know? Kind of like yeah. where you did this laser, but with a nair, and it would have just killed her, probably. Okay, nice. Um, a lot, Sheik is, like, remember, she's not that great at getting, going to the platforms here, and she has kind of bad aerial drift. So mm -hmm. a lot of times I'll just do something like this where like when she comes down here, I'll just go to the side plat. And it's like once she's dropped through the top plat, 
what can she do about the side plat? You know, she can't double jump up and hit me. She has to land. And then once she lands, I'll dash dance for a second, and then maybe I'll full hop to the top plat or something like that. But you don't really want to just be, like, like chilling here on the ground, like, because Sheik's, like, horizontal here is just totally fine. Like, she can boost grab. She has all these setups. Uh, but if, if you sort of abuse the fact that she has to, like, come up and down... You can just waste the time. Like, you know, invincibility is all just about, like, wasting a little bit of time and then, like, full hopping against most characters. Yeah, I never considered that for Sheik, so I'll definitely do that. Cool. This. Yeah, honestly, and this isn't even, like, the best Nair of all time. You know, it's, like, it hits a little early. But even then, it's like, yeah, this is just good. Like, she struggles a lot with this. Uh, because a lot of times she's not going to CC just because you could be down airing and mm -hmm. it's, so it's like you have that you have that nice mix of like nair is harder to deal with but if you hold down down air like destroys you and a lot of times obviously at lower percents if i have a whiff punish i'll down air but otherwise i just really like this nair like dude this type of stuff too this type of stuff destroys chic uh like that where you're just kind of like moving around her kind of on the ground and she doesn't know 100 percent which side of you which side of uh, her you're going to be on. This is, mm -hmm. like, crazy, crazy, crazy strong against Sheik. So just, like, keep this in mind. Where you're like, oh, change the side. Now you're behind her again. She's bad because you're behind her. And now you go on this side, and she's like, okay, now... And so a lot of times, Sheiks react to this, and they try to solve this, like, ambiguous side of me Falco problem by doing the same thing every time, where they shield... And then they wave dash out of shield, and then they move in to attack you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah, yes. yeah, and they, they pretty much will do this every time. And so, shield pressuring Sheik is actually not that good. If you get a actual shield pressure on Sheik, there are like a couple options that I like to do. So the first one is, if you shine the front of her shield, shine short hop down air, will jump over her grab one hundred percent of the time. Uh, it's actually, despite her being a pretty tall character, you can always short hop down air over her grab. Okay. So that's kind of useful, and I'll do stuff like, you know, short hop, down air fade back, and then if she if she tries to go for the shield grab, she'll get hit. If she doesn't go for the shield grab, I'm pretty safe because I'm just, like, fading back, stuff like that. Or I'll just go for, um, like, nair shine grab. And that's pretty much it. Or, you know, nair shine wave dash to catch the roll, like wave dash back. Uh, okay. But I won't go for, like, sustained. I never do, like, late aerial shine, late aerial, or something like that. It's mostly because, you know, not like Fox, not like Marth. Like, she, she doesn't have, like, these kind of pokeable shields. She just has mm -hmm. this giant bubble shield that covers her whole body. So, like, hitting her shield a lot is not that useful. And she's gonna always go for these wave dash back toward sort of dash and grab things. And so as long as you're not, like, focused on, like, here's Sheik. She's in this bubble. I'm hitting the bubble. As long as you're just moving back and forth with her, it ends up where she... It's kind of like this, where she doesn't end up with a good setup. Because what she wants is, like, you go for short hop late down air again on my shield, and I wave dashed back, so now I jump in and I grab you, you know? But yeah. if you're, like... If you're just shining, moving back and forth, aerialing back and forth, then you retreat with a laser, you come in, hit with hit the shield, maybe shine grab, she rolls, dash dance, go for a nair. As long as you're moving around and you don't try to hit her shield like multiple times in a row, this <laughs> wave this whole wave dash out business is sort of invalidated. Okay. Really so only works like, if you like hyper focus on her position. That makes sense. So in short, I guess, like when the way that you're trying to like win neutral versus chic aggressively in general is like by doing those ambiguous timings and spacings more than like reading her exact out of shield option because like i get called oh, doing, never like, the never. double shine <laughs> yeah i never do yeah that. i okay. exclusively am like i feel like this kind of beats almost anything chic would do or it's 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 more like i feel like there's no way chic can read this like, I'll just pick an ambiguous thing or a mix-up and be like, there's no way she's hard reading this, and unless she hard reads it, she's probably not going to be able to punish it. And there's also a chance, in addition to her not being able to punish, that she'll just get hit, and then I'll get, like, a crazy advantage state into an edge guard. Okay. Um, gotcha. Yeah, and that's a lot of times how I play neutral, is, like, 
if I get a laser bait on you, you know, like like you did that one earlier, laser dash dance around the four tilt. Like if I get that on a sheik, then I'm getting my big combo. Mm -hmm. And you know, and a lot of times the big combo is you get 30, 40 damage and you hit her off stage, and then you threaten an early kill with the edge guard. If you can't get the early edge guard kill, she goes on stage, then you get up, shiner, run over, back air her, whatever, get her off stage again, you kind of rinse and repeat until she's like probably gonna die. Okay, I'm, then, I'm glad you said that then, yeah. And so that's my sort of like, and a, a lot of times with the edge guard, I think of it as like, just like a combo. So like if, rather than being like, ah, oh, she recovered the stage and I couldn't kill her, I'm just like, the combo continues. Like I'm literally just continuing to hit her. It's kind of like, you know, she double jumps into another hit of mine it's, or something like that. Like it's just when she recovers on stage, just keep hitting her, whatever, combo keeps going. And when you think about it, a lot of times you'll end up with like 130 damage combos just because you kept repeatedly edge guarding her. Yeah, that um, makes sense. And so I get those openings. Like, and it, I think that if, uh, if that was just the matchup where Falco had to bait Sheik to shoot. Like, he had to use lasers exclusively to bait Sheik into bad options, and then he could whiff punish those options. I think the matchup would probably be about even. Uh, that's my perception, and I think that's the way a lot of Sheiks look at it, is they sort of just see the outplay stuff on Falco's end, where it's like, yeah, when Falco gets his outplays, and I get my outplays... It feels about even because I hit really hard, and you know Falco hits kind of hard, but not as hard as Sheik. And it's like, uh, you're you're like that's just kind of how it is. And then, um, let's see, where was I? So you're just talking about uh, like the Sheik's perspective of uh, when Falco's like hit these outplays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the the other part of the matchup that kind of is like the swing part of the matchup, like the part of the matchup that makes it really bad for Sheik, in my opinion, is that, like, Falco also has that, like, left-right, I can kind of make your life hard by being ambiguous, and I can sort of just nair fast fall, and you really can't deal with it type of thing, and mm -hmm. you get to add that on to this even matchup, kind of wherever, uh, when, sorry, not wherever, but whenever you want. Like, you can choose to play the entire match purely honest, like, laser neutral, uh, but you can also play it, like, 60% laser neutral and then add on these sort of random pressure nares and stuff like that, and it's mm -hmm. just extra frustrating for Sheik because it's like it would be an even matchup, except Falco can also just, like, throw out moves and it's impossible to deal with. <laughs> And yeah. so and so you kind of have both of those. You can kind of play a more chaotic version of the matchup where you just sort of win the mix up or you can play oh and this is good, yeah. And uh you can either play like a more chaotic version where you just sort of win the mix up or you can play like a more strategic version that's kind of normal. And the fact that you can choose when to play either of those and switch back and forth is what makes in my opinion this matchup kind of bad for Sheik. I think it's a struggle. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I never thought about that part, but definitely. <clears throat> okay. And, like I said, sometimes these will work, and it's kind of fine, like this laser. But if you think about it, if this was... And, like, if this was a late nair or a late down air, it would have always been better than the laser. Because all yeah. you're going to get out of the laser is shine, and you're not going to get, like, a kill out of shine. You're like, yeah, maybe you get this, and it's like, yeah, just probably nearing her would have been better. <laughs> or down airing, yeah. honestly. Yeah, because uh, prior to you explaining this to me, I was under the impression that doing those lasers, like, were better. Like, that's why mm -hmm. I, like, end up going for them a lot. But now I see I definitely shouldn't do that. And, yeah, stuff like this happens, too, where, like, you're just like... So, okay, this is actually just, like, a perfect little microcosm of this matchup. This is, like, exactly... <laughs> exactly how this matchup works um so okay classic falco side b is broken against Sheik. i feel like Sheik, <laughs> like if falco side b is correctly i think Sheik has maybe like a one out of five or six on him <laughs> like it feels really? you mean just between going to ledge and going like above stage like, yeah like just going him? high side b because remember if you go to stage like Sheik. like Sheik doesn't just get to, like oh you're on stage rest oh you're on stage stomp knee Sheik's like 
oh, you're on stage, like tech chase, tech chase, dash, yeah, tech, that's forward true. tilt, up tilt, yep. forward tilt. Like she has to go through like, <laughs> like she has to do, like she has to write, like write a novel just to kill you if you go mm-hmm. on stage. So it's not just about like being safe. It's that like, oh, if I get on stage, like I get to like, I get four DI mix ups and three execution tests before I'm dead, you know? And so, yeah. like, she super struggles, and a lot of times she doesn't want to do this. She'll, so you recover on stage, she'll just grab you and throw you off again. And you're like, eh, whatever. Like, there's another chance for me to kill you with my side beat. <laughs> so, yeah, I mix up just short and the ledge, going to ledge, going low, doing this one where you just go slightly higher uh, to beat, like, down tilt stuff. Go doing stuff where I go just slightly higher and then going to platform. And then I'll do, like, I'll mix up double jump instant... Like, basically all of these with instant side B or double jump late side B. And, like, so all of those mix-ups of, like, all these heights of, like, high up here, 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 or to ledge, those all happen at either an instant timing out of, like, my rising double jump or out of the falling portion of my double jump. Okay. And so a lot of times, and a lot of times the later, the later ones are good against people who edge guard a little bit more um let me think what's the word that i'm thinking of um like basically there's people that do back throw and then they do run off double jump nair like immediately you know <laughs> like there's there's people who edge guard like that and against those people i just always do the late recovery because they're always just gonna like back throw run off double jump nair and then i'm like oh i'll just like hit the ending lag of your nair with my side b and it's like a completely reactable thing and then mm-hmm. there are sheiks who try to read like the later mix up basically and against those you just you just spam like just go through <laughs> and a lot of times uh the later one is like a little bit safer in general just because like especially if you don't know the way a sheik works the majority of players will read the early one uh so I liked, I prefer to start with the later one, and I kind of do the later one until it seems like Sheik is hardcore, like, reading the late one, and then I'll do the early. Kind of like with the Nair, where I'm like, I do the Nair all the time until it's, like, really, really obvious, and then I'll down her. <laughs> okay. So the late one is kind of broken, but side B every time, up B is worthless against Sheik completely, pretty mm-hmm. much. Um, but yeah, this is a situation I was talking about where you played the neutral, like, exactly how i would like it you turn around laser on the shield you dash in you dash back she's she's forced to whiff something you're like aha now i got this other laser at a nice like an extra close extra ambiguous range where you have all kinds of aerial pressure here and so she gets stuck shielding you do another dash dance just to check because you're falco you get to choose to to disengage if you want then Sheik wave dashes back while you're coming in, but you just come in anyway with the Nair. She can't get enough distance to avoid it. And then she's like, all right, fine. I perfectly calculated out everything. I've decided that you're not going to you know, go past me. You're actually going to be in front of me and all this. And so I've decided my, my chess move here, forward tilt. And she puts it out like, okay, this should beat the Nair, right? And he's like, nope, I just traded <laughs> just and I'm actually fine. And then you're dead. And that's like the perfect like summary of this matchup, which is like, you're like you're trying to outplay the sheik as hard as possible and then when things come to a head and a scramble happens you win like 80 percent of the time anyway <laughs> yeah yeah no that helps yeah. <laughs> it's like oh that's nice <laughs> like i was trying to just bait sheik it didn't work but then i just nared and i won anyway like cool and then yeah and there it is me doing same the invincibility pressure. issue like you just got to go to the platforms during invincibility yeah. so you just die a lot of times okay so good shine Oh, he's messed up. It's fine. No approaching laser here. And just just look at how good, like, late aerial here. Like, nair or dare. And at lower percents, sometimes if I feel... Like, I, you sort of have to gauge it. Like, is Sheik feeling kind of jumpy or feeling more grounded? And then I'll just choose whichever one. And sometimes, like I said, I'll, I'll if I'm unsure, I'll just nair. But sometimes you, you just get this feeling that you're like... They're definitely wave dashing in, so my down air will get me a big combo, and then you know maybe I'll go for a down air. But it's more of like a read. But yeah, look if you like nared here or down aired here, you would have a lot of time. You would have probably just hit Sheik out of this wave dash and been fine. Whereas the laser, it's like ah, she just slips out so easily. She's so skinny. Like look at this. Like you were right on her. Like this is just this is like a big part of the reason why I don't like approaching laser against Sheik is because mm-hmm. like look at this. 
laser. It even hits her like the latest part. You know, ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> Shine. It's like no, like just hit her. Like she can't deal with the hits. Do you think kind of like obviously I messed up by doing the approaching laser, but um, doing the double shine after like is that kind of like we were talking about before where I probably should have done like a shine and then um short hop out like down or back or something like that to get out of the situation? Or do you think I'm probably gonna get hit here no matter what once I've committed to the first shine? Oh, let me see. Because this kind of happens to me a lot. Well, I guess I shouldn't be double shining anyway, but I would. Oh, there's a lot of times I'll do something with like late nair shine grab here. Okay. Like, it's just so solid. And it'll, yeah, like that. Like, it would have just hit this. Uh, yep. And a lot of times, if you get the, if you happen to be close enough for the shine, or she jumps out of shield or dashes in or something, then she'll just get popped straight up. And you can get, like, a punish, even though you didn't get, like, the wave shine. Um, okay, so this is definitely a thing where, like, you also have to be careful to not let Sheik, like, move you back into the corner. Like, if Sheik... If Sheik fully gets you moved back like this into the corner, this is, like, a problem. Uh, and you basically end up with somewhat of a 50-50 where you are going to, to inevitably try to either attack in or full hop to top plat. And Sheik wants to read this with, like, a short hop back air or a full hop back air. Like, she wants to read you full hopping here. Yeah. And So, I'm oh, sorry. Continue. Yeah, what were you going to say? Well, I, was just, I guess I was going to ask, like, what uh, the... Obviously, I misplayed, I guess, by backing up here, but, like, what you probably would have liked to have seen me do instead to not end yeah. up in the corner. Um, so, I think... I don't think any of, the, any of the decisions you made here were necessarily super bad. Uh, I think you kind of just lost a mix-up big time here with this, like, back air drift in. Mm -hmm. And, uh... There wasn't a ton you can do. Uh, let me think. Like right here, maybe I don't know. There's just there's ways you can get hit out of this, kind of no matter what Sheik does. Uh, it was just it was just literally the Sheik perfectly reads this laser and back airs over it. Uh, yeah. Right here, maybe in, when you do this short hop instead of lasering, if you had time to react, I would go to the side plat right here, or maybe after this laser, I would go immediately to like this position. Uh, mm -hmm. just where she can't super reach it, like, easily, and then try to get around her. Or, but then, like, once you end up in this scramble, um, you're actually just, like, kind of winning again, because you're in the scramble. The reason why you get hit is because you're, you're thinking Sheik is gonna, like, remain in the same place. You're thinking, like, pressure here. Uh, like, the wave dash down shine. That's just greedy, because Sheik is never gonna be in the same spot. She's gonna wave dash out, and then attack you. So once you realize this happened, um... What would you do? You probably wouldn't laser in place again then, right? Like, what what would you do out of this position, I guess? Out of which, well, I got which exact spot? So, like, right uh, so, here? So, like, when I... Yeah, um, once once he gets on me with the back air, I guess. Like, okay. how, how would you play this from here? Okay. Yes. Because I think I'm not right here, you can actually... Because remember I was saying there's... Sheik has, like... Like, basically, you can do a bait here where, like, you get laser and then you want dash full hop. And so, actually, mm -hmm. I felt it if I was in this spot and I did this laser and Sheik was shielding with her back facing me, I would have tried to dash dance and bait out this back air. Uh, okay. But if you get hit by the back air here and you get this shine, this is actually fine. Just, like, now, like, shine, land, and then move and do something. Like, if you just dash towards center here and there, you're probably going to be fine. Okay. Whereas, like, if you, if you focus... Because Sheik does that thing where Sheik's like, I'm here, I'm I'm stuck here. And then you, you throw out moves and you're trying to move around her like a punching bag, and then she just moves and hits you. But if you just move around throwing out hitboxes, she can't really get you. Notice yeah. that she needs, like, a double read here of, like, Falco will maintain his position and then will also be to the right of me. So, and so if you just move, she can't really, like, do this. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this was just you just kind of got like super hard yeah, red here. Yeah, I understand. Honestly, it's like I'm okay. used to the fox is doing that. Good. I like this. This was good. Like this laser dash dance nair. 
so hard for her to deal with that in like a way that actually works for her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then let's see. Good Nair. Literally, this works so often where you're just like, hmm, Nair. <laughs> and it's like, look at this. How, look how crazy this is. We're like, okay, let's say she shields this Nair. You are going to be safe, guaranteed. Because you'll yeah. hit the front of her shield and you'll be over here with the Nair. And, okay, so let's say she CCs, let's say she, like, CCs or, like, ASDIs down this Nair, it'll hit her in the front, and then now you'll be behind her. So she also can't really punish it. How about if she jumps? She gets hit, and she gets punished. Or how about this? If she, and It's the same if she jumps or doesn't ASDI down. She gets hit by the Nair, and she gets carried into the punish. <laughs> mm -hmm. so it's like either she defends herself and she gets stuck in place while you zoom by her or you hit her and you carry her with her with you and then you hit her like more Makes sense. and then uh when you're comboing her your combos should be i see you just got edge canceled jump squatted yeah. uh i much prefer like sort of off stage oriented combos uh i understand how this can happen uh just make sure you're you're like really focused on getting her off stage because the percent as you've noticed doesn't matter much against Sheik. yeah like it's so, way so... more important to just get her off stage uh i don't really i feel like this situation definitely could have happened to me though so like it's not a huge deal just and keep if it kind of thing does happen i guess because i feel like this does happen to me somewhat often when i'm calming her uh, where she goes in that kind of direction on the stage um I wouldn't want to follow that up with a down air either, right? Off the side platform. Like, do you think the back air I did was probably the like a, a correct choice when she's behind this I would have nair. I would have dashed back, dash in short hop nair here, and then probably tried to full hop back air her when she goes above the side plat over here. Gotcha. Okay. Um. And like, just look at how hard it is for the sheik to hit you here when you're moving around. Mm -hmm. Like, look at this. She's like, come on. Uh, uh, yeah, I see what you mean uh, about... The, the left-right thing is huge, yeah. where she's just like, wait, are you on the left of me? Okay, now you're on the right of me? Okay, now you're on the left of me? And it's <laughs> yeah. like, dude, like, she... With Falco, that that struggle just doesn't exist. Down air, nair, shine, they all hit both sides. Like, yep. you don't yep. really need to worry about it. But she does. So, also, do you think I, I played that poorly then by down airing there? I probably should have just gone for an edge guard and tried to hit her off. Um, Right here? Yeah, in my um, combo. So, this first down air, I think, is totally fine. Um, and it's because you're hitting her to the platform. Like, you have pretty much a guaranteed tech chase here. Like, like basically, I think this down air is acceptable. This is totally fine. And then this up tilt, fine. But here, you should have back air. Yeah. Like, the second one. Yeah. Okay, you got the approaching laser. And uh, so this was this approaching down air was kind of okay because you did get the cross up out of it, so you were safe. Uh, but you tried to like you got a little greedy where you tried to like hit, shine, jump back, back air, whatever. But even yeah. then, it's, the punishment's not that big, so you're fine. You just end up getting weak nair. Like Sheik's nair out of shield is actually like <laughs> I always joke that like Sheik's nair out of shield is just good for me. Like, I'm just like, yeah, like, nair me out of shield. Like, you'll get me out of lag quicker. And they're like, dude, like. <laughs> okay, oops. I see. And yeah, make sure, like, down air at high percent is trash. <laughs> yeah. Against, sense. like, every character. Like, over 100, down air is just garbage. You don't, there's no reason to ever use it. Just mm -hmm. nair and back air and laser and jab. Kind of nice. Wow. Wow. Okay. I should have down tilted for sure, right? Down tilted, or you can uh, you can auto cancel back here. Here. Okay. Yeah. Like uh, you catch her as she like stands up the, with the back here. Because that's what happened right there is what happens to me all the time versus these sheiks where I like feel like I'm not fast enough to get something mm -hmm. out and then I just shine or I just do something quickly. Yeah, it it honestly looks a lot of it looks like a confidence issue. Uh mm -hmm. like it doesn't look like there's no there's no part of your gameplay that's like, oh, like yeah, 
you know, he can deal with all this other stuff, but like he can't get up from ledge and hit Sheik. It's more like a you're like, how fast really is it? Like, how much is her lag? Like, really, how fast? How far can she go? And like, which bad yep. can I hit? And it seems like it's literally just like a confidence thing. Like, I would just like go in Uncle Punch and like pick Sheik and like figure out exactly how long the lag is. Maybe set up a save state where she recovers to the stage and just like experiment with like how much time you have and how much you can do before she can shield and stuff like that. That's a great idea. I think I think that would help. It just it honestly just feels like it's more of like a, like a pure confidence thing. Yeah. You, no, you're once, right too. And once yeah. you learn it, you'll be fine. <laughs> yep. Okay. And the other thing is like don't when you're hitting Sheik and she just keeps recovering and you hit her again and she recovers again and you hit her again, don't be like, darn it, this this is bad. Like I should be killing her. This is like you're just like. Ha, ha, ha. the only escape is death you know like you, <laughs> yeah. like you have to think of it like as like an advantage because it is like you are you are killing Sheik. it's kind yeah. of like it just takes a little while and from the Sheik end i promise it's the worst thing ever you're not like yeah. i'm gonna get back this time you're like i am in an endless loop of pain you know <laughs> and like when you get back it's kind of surprising so like just know that like you know that they're dead. You like you know that they should be dead, and they know that they should be dead. And like as long as you just have the confidence to execute it, they're just gonna die most of the time. Okay. Sheik does not have like magical recovery options that make her get back. She yeah. just dies. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I got stuck after smashing. Yeah. Okay, so here's this thing. Uh, People, this is like a big misunderstanding that people have. Uh, once jab knocks down, you know, you can use jab a lot. And you started mm -hmm. doing it a high percent. There's a critical piece. You have to camp with the laser jab. Approaching with laser jab is awful. Okay, yeah. Because it's basically a more committal approaching laser shine. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's the same problem. And like, you yeah. will just... You will be like, I can just approaching laser jab fox. I can approaching laser jab chic, and you're just gonna lose more stocks for no reason. You mm -hmm. want to camp with it, where you want to be like, I'm doing my invincible laser camping, except now I can just jab you out of any laser, and so yeah. it ju it just makes your neutral way stronger. It doesn't make your approaches stronger at all. Mm -hmm. Just just you're like camping neutral. Okay, good. And then you like notice that like chic gets this whole left right struggle here. And then she ends up just jumping and you nair her. Mm. Okay. Nice. Down air. Back air. Good. Nair. <laughs> Sheik's nair is worthless. <laughs> you have to remember to hold down here, too. I, oh, it's because the nair was late. Never mind. Okay, you're fine. But yes, okay. the nair is useless. Here. I don't like this down I should have done... Do you think I should have done the other side of down air to hit it to the plat? Or that wouldn't have even worked? Um, you could have, but honestly, back air. So the thing is, is like, okay, so you know that other down air where you were like, this down air is fine and the second one isn't, you know, and that's yeah. what I was kind of saying? Uh, for you right now, don't do any of those down airs. If she is like above 50 and she's in the air, I want you to back air her towards the direction of off stage. Yeah, um, that makes sense. Because it's sort of like your shark on her is so strong and like she, she basically ends up in this position where she's falling... It's like the Marth position, where she's falling yep. directly above ledge, and she wants yeah. to just fall to ledge, except she doesn't have a Marth fair, so you're like, yeah! And you can get all kinds of laser up tilt, laser F tilt, you can back air her out of it while she's falling, you can do all kinds of stuff, and it it seems like I feel like you, you need more practice in that than you do getting a couple extra hits of the combo on her. Mm -hmm. So I would prefer you just back air her off stage, or back air her above, just back air and then shark from the ground and i think it'll be more beneficial than going for these eventually later once you're really good at that you'll be like okay she's at 60 and i have a guaranteed platform tech chase so i'll get a little bit more damage and then i'll hit her off stage or whatever yep. but like for now you need to focus on the main goal of getting her off stage and not try to think is this a good down air or not mm -hmm. that makes sense And yeah, this edge guard is only because you double jumped. Like, there's no reason to go for a non edge grab double jump back here on Sheik ever. Like, you just, like, it's way more important to not get reversal. 
Are you still there? Just making sure. I am. I am. Yeah. My mic gain is just low. I guess. So. Okay. I, yeah. I didn't hear a response, and I was like, "That's fine," but I'm not sure if it went through. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. Good. You get to space safely. Watch out for those approaching lasers. And then, yeah, you just aerial in, and she's like, "Ah, oh, I can't do anything about aerials." I'm like, yep, that's great. Oh, no lasers though. Watch out. <laughs> Your lasers stopped. Stop firing. Okay. Probably down tilt, but yep, uh, yeah, sure. she's dead. Okay, good. I like this a lot, actually. Yep. And they're maybe just back there, or is that? Um, because I feel like when I hit her down, he hit that here, uh, second one. Yep. I think yeah. If you hit her earlier with the down air, the down air would have been fine. Like okay. if you if you went faster here and you got a and you hit her with like right here, you can probably get down air into down smash or up tilt into. Sure. Like a little bit more damage. I don't really hugely like the back air here. I will do the back air, nair, forward air, whatever here if I can't reach this down air. But I would probably mm -hmm. try this down air if I could get to it. Just because she's like below 50. Like when she's like yeah. 40, I'm just like, eh, like I can just keep keep hitting her. That makes sense. Okay. Um, this up air is fine. I also like forward air here. Like short hop fair there, but the up air works too. Okay, good. Okay, this is kind of scrambly. You kind of stop doing like the cross up nair thing, this game. Like, yeah, yeah, I wasn't I, aware I, of how strong it was. Definitely. Mm hmm. And it sort of made it. It's making it tougher. This is like a good example of like the left right thing, <laughs> where she just gets bodied by ambiguous left right stuff. Okay, and like, yeah, this is this is why Falco is so good against Sheik, is like, this is another reason, is you do your mix-up, you do laser, get power shielded, you're like, oof. She goes for the fair punish, gets nothing, you back off, you're like, haha, I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna go in with the Nair. And Sheik is like, no you're not, I perfectly read you with my perfect jabs. And you're like, <laughs> okay, we continue That's playing nothing. the game. <laughs> like, we, you, you gained nothing, it's like, okay, like... If Falco got that, he would have just murdered her. Like if he, like if Falco read her approach one time with like a down air in place or something, it was over for her. Yeah. Uh, you get fared here because you approach from too far away. Okay. There was no ambiguity on the left, right, so Sheik was able to just like wall you here, like bam. I would have been better off waiting for her to fare. Yeah, land waiting for her to come out of the corner there. or something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, and. Uh, I really like this spot where she does this. Uh, you can actually nair right at the end of this, like right here, and you can you can just nair attack her. Oh, that's uh, good to know. Uh, otherwise, nair up tilt or nair nair JC shine here is good. Nair, uh, s sorry, laser laser up tilt or laser JC shine, and then uh, laser dash attack is also really good, but only at like higher percent. She's too low for a lot of the options. Um, okay. Okay, so that was good. Mm hmm this is fine, I guess, but you didn't move out of your, after your roll. Okay, let's see. Nice. Oh, it's just a little slow there. Really good down around a shield, though. I like those. Okay, and yeah, she, she definitely struggles to kill Falco. <laughs> yeah, he has to do so much. And yeah, you just stop with the nares. Like, in here, like, my brain is screaming, like, do the yeah. ambiguous nares! Now I'm thinking of two, definitely. Yeah, you're like, do it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Oh, look at this cross-up. Like, as soon as you get, like, these ambiguous cross-ups, Sheik melts. Like, look at this right here. Yeah. Bam. She just, like, cannot deal with them at all. Okay, good. Good back here. Okay, good. Continue the combo. Okay, this is a thing that happens a lot. Like, this will happen a lot on Sheik's thing. She, when she's getting up, she, like will like kind of duck under the shine yep. you have to wait until she gets up more to shine oh so you, okay. ha you actually have to just wait later in the lag it'll happen like every time all it is is literally wait longer <laughs> <laughs> or walk forward faster but yeah basically you have like a ton of lag so just be careful not to do it too early there was in there that was good get up probably would have down tilted there or tried to go past her and down tilted, like wave dash past her, turn around down tilt. Yeah, Remember, you have sense. like an hour. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, no, not approaching laser there, and then, yeah, you pressure into that. Um, okay, we're about at an hour. Okay. Uh, I think we went over some really good stuff, though. Definitely. Um, all right, any any other questions or thoughts? Uh, no, I think, uh, just for thoughts, I think this definitely gives me, like, a much better idea of, like, what I'm supposed to be doing. Because as you can see in the VOD, I get confused where I should be doing, like, narrowing and lasering, so mm -hmm. it's definitely helped a lot. Appreciate yeah, it. and it's like it's it's kind of yeah, like I definitely get the feeling that like you do a bunch of good stuff, but then you're not sure whether it's always good, and so you change, and then you you start dying. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And so now that you know, you're like, oh, I can just stick to the good stuff, and you just kind of spam that. You'll probably just start start winning. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I hope so. All cool. right. Yeah, keep me updated on that. Let me Great. know how it goes, and I'll talk Thank with you. you later. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Peace.